being here at the National House Prayer in Ottawa has been quite a profound experience. However, it was never on my radar. Um, I had worked for government, but when I retired, I was going to be the grandmother extraordinaire until the Lord brought me to the National House of Prayer in Ottawa, where I was to be for a month. And here I am, seven years and four months later. And I would like to say, you know, it's been a walk in the park, but it hasn't been because you're coming into a capital of a nation. And there is a political spirit here in Ottawa. And it, it's one that's very weighty. You can feel it. So it's learning how to, to walk through that political spirit or cut through that weight of that political spirit and let the Lord begin to teach you and lead you in this place of a, of a warfare that you, you haven't fought before. So it's been very stretching and there were times that I wanted to run and say, you know, forget this, I, I don't need it. But the Lord very clearly said to me, do not give up your seat. So I had to stay here and in that the Lord has, has given me strength, he's growing me in endurance, he has sharpened my spiritual senses. And you know, the one thing I say to our interns when they come to the National House of Prayer is talk less and listen more because there's much to be learned here from those who have walked in it, from those that the Lord called to establish it. And don't come assuming that you know you've got it all under control <laughs> because surprise, you don't. The Lord ha has a plan, and, and our heart is to, you know, we're to yield to that plan. And uh, because the Bible is the manual of our life and God will show us each and every step of the way. And I'm, and I'm very grateful for the, for the time that I've had here at the National House of Prayer. It's been very rewarding, very challenging, but very fulfilling for sure. Thank <laughs> you.